is Clissa and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today we are unboxing my brand new MacBook Air 2020. Guys, I don't know if you understand how exciting this is for me because I've literally only ever used a Chromebook as a laptop before so this is like a huge step up for me. Um, I woke up this morning at 5 a.m. and I checked the tracking and it said it was gonna be delivered today. And so I've basically been waiting around all day for it. And then of course I happen to leave the house and it shows up while I'm gone. But it's okay, cause we have it now. I'm kind of nervous to open it, but before we get into the actual unboxing, please do not forget to like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos from me, and leave me something in the comments so we can talk to each other. Okay, so in this video we are going to unbox my computer, I'm going to show you the accessories that I got for it, and some tips and tricks to customize my MacBook. So I am a first time Mac user, so it's probably gonna take me a little bit to figure it out, but let's get into it. Oh, oh wait, it's upside down, okay. Oh my God. Oh, I'm nervous, I don't wanna open it. I've seen thousands of these videos at this point, and I know this part is supposed to be very pleasing, so. I'm like shaking it around, oh no. I don't like shaking it. I'm shaking because I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, it's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but as in every video that I've seen before, we're gonna set this aside for a second. We're gonna get the junk that's in here out. So we've got our cord. And I'm never gonna read this. And our charging block. Definitely gonna need that. I want this to be aesthetic for you guys. It's so lightweight and so thin. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's just do a quick comparison. This is what I've been using since sophomore year of high school. Um, it's been great. I am now, well, I'm gonna be a sophomore in college next fall. This is crazy. I mean, my, don't get me wrong, my Chromebook has done great for me, but at this point, I'm needing some different things and the Chromebook just wasn't cutting it. I have been saving for a Mac ever since last summer after I bought my car. I've been trying to build my savings account back up. It's so like surreal. I keep looking in the camera and I'm like, wait, is this actually happening right now? Holy crap. I will say one thing that I'm worried I'm not gonna like about this compared to my Chromebook is that my Chromebook was a touch screen, which I kind of like fell in love with, but- To use English as the main language, press the return key. I guess we're gonna start setting this thing up. Okay, now that I've kind of got things set up, um, it is way different than my Chromebook, like the the mouse pad is really, it took me a couple minutes to figure it out. I'm like, I don't even know how to scroll on this. But we are setting up my account right now. And then we're gonna try and get into some fun stuff even though I don't really know that much about MacBooks. I have been watching a lot of customization videos because this is like a baby of mine and I want to actually customize it. Hi Sarah. Okay, now we're going to do 
the touch ID. This is a super cool aspect. We can FaceTime. Let's FaceTime Alan from this. Okay, bye. Bye bye. That was cool, okay. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do is change my background. I made a like collage and put pictures on it on my phone. So I'm gonna have to hook up all my emails to this now. Okay guys, no peeking. And once I get it in there, we can see what it looks like. It looked good on my phone, but I don't know how it's gonna actually look. Okay guys, so my dinner is actually done. So we're gonna come back and finish setup after I eat breakfast food for dinner. Let's go pancakes. Okay, see you in a few. Okay, I am so full. My dad made um, buttermilk pancakes from scratch and I ate two of them and I'm feeling it. A whole omelet, three pieces of bacon. Okay, anyway, so now I'm going to show you guys some of the accessories that I got. First, I got this adapter, which is from Amazon. I will put the link in the description if you guys are looking to get an adapter. When I was purchasing my computer off of Apple, it asked me if I wanted to buy the adapter, and I think it was like 50 or $60, so I got on Amazon, and this is basically the same thing. It was $20, so. Okay, and this is what it looks like pretty basic I think. Then I got these webcam covers because I'm afraid the FBI is watching my every move so I have these. And lastly I bought a hard case for the computer because I am terrified that I'm going to break it and or drop it. However I love how this feels. I don't really know if I want to put this on yet. I also wanted to get this because I think I might want to be basic and put stickers on the outside of my laptop. Of course, I am not going to actually, sorry, just going to clean it off a little. Okay, I have now snapped the clear case on. I think I got it, oh, that wasn't on all the way. This definitely makes me feel a little bit safer. So about this Mac specifically. I bought the base model of the MacBook Air, which starts at $999, and since I am a college student, I got the $100 student discount. This is the base model of the MacBook Air. However, I did customize it. I upgraded the i3 processor to an i5 processor because my boyfriend told me it's definitely worth the $100 to do that. And essentially I wasn't spending any more than I would have if I wasn't a student and getting the $100 discount already. So I went ahead and I did upgrade this into an i5 processor. As I say before, I'm not really a huge computer person and I am a first time user for Mac. So all you tech people, please don't come at me because I don't know really what I'm talking about, but I do want to learn. So I think this is a great place to start is to actually get one of the computers. <laughs> now for the fun part, customizing. We are going to be customizing the background, my screensaver, folder icons, accent colors. So let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to be getting this star icon for our folders. So we are going to type in Julia Chris's website and here she has some free images for us to use. So we are going to scroll down to desktop icons and then we're gonna pick through some of the ones she has. I want to use a star. We're gonna save the image. We're going to download it, open it up into our desktop, open this image select all, press command A, then command C, open up the folder we want to change and press get info. Then we're going to click on the little icon up here and press command V. So now we have our little star icon. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to get this analog clock for your screensaver. First, we are going to Pull up Google and type in Phil Quo. We're gonna click on this. We're gonna scroll down to Mac and download. Once it's downloaded, we're going to pull it over into our desktop. Then we are going to double click to install. Then we're gonna double click on the saver button. 
Then we are going to go into our system preferences, desktop and screensaver, and it should already be downloaded there in the bottom. And then you select it and that's it. Next, I'm going to show you guys how we can change the accent colors. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull up our system preferences, then go to general. Here you can choose from blue, purple, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, and gray. Um, I'm kind of a pink girl, so we're gonna choose pink. So now all these little icons are pink for us. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to briefly make a collage for the background of your desktop if that's something you want to do. So I use the app Canva and you can see this is a collage where I already made it here. Basically, all you do is you just pick pictures you like from Google, Pinterest, and you import them in. And then you basically just lay them on top of each other and move them around until you find something that you like. It's actually pretty simple. It's just kind of time consuming. And then after this, you can find stickers on the app PixArt. You can use your own pictures and cut them out. You can outline them in glitter, which is what I did. That part is actually fairly simple. Like I said, it's just time consuming. And of course, since you picked out the pictures and you use your own personal pictures as a sticker over top, super personalized. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to change your screensaver and then we're gonna add some hot corners on our computer. So first we're gonna pull up system preferences and go to desktop and screensaver. We're going to click desktop. Then there you can open your photos and choose whatever you want. Here's my collage that I made. Then for the screensaver, of course, we have our analog clock picked out. If you move the mouse over to hot corners, then you can choose um, a bunch of different commands for wherever you swipe up on the screen. So I chose screensaver for the left side of my screen. So let's give it a try. There we go. Pretty cool, pretty cute. Okay. All right, guys, I think this is it for today's video. If you haven't already, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am so happy with this computer. As I said before, I've been using a Chromebook all throughout high school and my first year of college. So this is definitely gonna be a learning curve for me, but I'm up to the challenge, it's summer, and it's good for me to learn other computers. So I'm actually excited about that. If you guys aren't sick and tired of me, you can follow me on my Instagram for more content. I don't post that much, but I'm trying to post every once in a while. And please leave me something in the comments because I want to talk with you guys if you guys have any questions about how this unboxing went or any specifics please let me know and I will answer them for you. I just wanted to say that all the products that were shown in this video will be linked down in the description in case you guys want to get your hands on them. Everything came from Amazon so. All right guys thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, let me know if you guys have a MacBook, if you're wanting to get a MacBook, um, and what you think about it, because like I said, I've come from a Chromebook to a MacBook, so there's definitely going to be a lot of things that I have to get used to, some things I might like, some things I might not like. So let's chat. Stay tuned to my channel, because I have some fun content coming your way. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.